It's my experience that people learn about the internal architecture by noticing the external architecture. You can find out something about yourself by noticing how you're responding and relating to other people. You can learn something about what's inside you by noticing what's happening in your community, in your family. That is part of our personal journey to wisdom. We get to find out how these things that are within us that are active all the time in dynamic relationship, what we're thinking and what we're feeling and what we're doing and what's happening in our human spirit, all of that is also happening outside of us. There is a holiness to all of life. There's a holiness to all of being. And yet we can walk around as if it wasn't. We can make it all about the how and the what. And if you hadn't noticed in getting all wrapped up in how to live your life and what to do, you can also get wrapped up and all the feelings that invade a person's psyche when they're not expressing the who and the holiness of who they are. If you're not accessing that and putting it into the world, well, what's it said? How's it said? Nature abhors a vacuum. If there's a vacuum of who and the holiness of who we are flowing through an expression, bringing fulfillment and pl true pleasure, there's a vacuum in the human experience. So what fills the vacuum that's created by the lack of holiness? The lack of wholeness, the expression of that, the embodiment of that. Well, to stick on the same word, it is unholiness. There's something unwholesome that comes in. It comes in at a feeling level of experience. We get dragged around by fear and envy and hate at a feeling level. But also those things are feelings, but they're also, you might say, un unwholesome spirits that enter us. And we as human beings don't function very well when there's an absence of the holiness that's natural to who we are. If I know that higher reality of myself and if I seek in my expression of myself not only to give expression to that color of the rainbow, that unique personality that I am, and that unique spectrum of spirit that I am. But I also, as I meet you and greet you, I seek to give expression to that higher reality of self that as a human being I'm in service to. I am seeking not only to bring that color of the spectrum that is mine, but I am also seeking to bring the white light, if you will, the one light.